Welcome back. In this video, we'll talk about RIN and Weber tests. We use these tests to detect the presence of hearing loss, and if so, what the cause of it. And they're quite simple, as you only need a tuning fork. For RIN test, you simply vibrate the fork, place the end of the tuning fork on the patient's mastoid bone. They'll start hearing a tuning sound, and once that sound fades and they can no longer hear it, place it next to the patient's ear. They will again start hearing a tuning sound, and you can stop the test once they stop hearing this sound. So by vibrating the tuning fork once, you can measure both air and mastoid bone conductiveness. We'll look at the interpretation of the results in a second. But now let's see how to do the Weber test. It is much simpler as all you need to do is vibrate the fork and place it at the patient's forehead. Simply make sure that it's in the middle and ask the patient which side do they hear more. To interpret the results of the RAIN test, simply remember that air conduction is always better which means that the patient will hear the air conduction longer than they hear the bone conduction. And that's normal. If both air and bone conduction have the same duration, this is indicative of sensory neural hearing loss, which means that there's a problem in the hearing nerves. On the other hand, if hearing with the bone is longer than hearing with the air, this is indicative of conductive hearing loss, which means there is something that prevents the air and the sound from entering the inner ear. And this could be anything from plugged earwax to otitis media, all the way to osteosclerosis. For Weber test, the patient should hear the same sound on both sides, but if it's louder on one side, this is indicative of conductive hearing loss in that side. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helps.